I'm Dana Gentry, your SEIU Communications Director. Today we're talking with Congressional Candidate Reuben Kewen. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Dana. Thank what you so are much. your legislative priorities when you going to be when you get to Congress? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to SEIU for the endorsement. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, it was one of the earliest endorsements that I got, and so I'm very grateful. Um, look, uh, I want to continue the work that I did in Carson City, uh, but now in Washington, D.C. Um, in Carson City, I fought to increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Um, I've been out there in the trenches with the SEIU and the picket lines and the marches, uh, and I want to continue that work in Washington, D.C. I also want to continue making sure that women get paid uh, what they deserve to be paid, so equal pay for equal work for women. Will you fight for a $15 an hour minimum wage at the federal level? Absolutely. Um, I believe that it's long overdue, increasing the minimum wage. Um, you know, right now, had we kept up with inflation, we would have been at $15, $14 an hour. Uh, but I believe that $15 an hour is the, the, the right amount uh, to make sure that people are not living in poverty and that they're providing for their family. You talk on your website about affordable child care, which is a very important issue. But at the same time, child care workers are grossly underpaid. We all know that. So how do you balance the needs to increase their pay while preserving affordable child care, or at least creating it in some cases? Well, look, I mean, these child care workers, and, and I've actually shadowed uh, a few of them uh, just uh, two weeks ago, um, they're hardworking people, you know, and uh, putting up with 20, 30 children, you know, hyperactive children, uh, it's not an easy job. And, you know, when they're out there making minimum wage, um, you know, they can't provide for their family. And so it's important that not only the child care workers, but also, you know, restaurant workers uh, are making uh, a, a livable wage. And I believe that right now, 825 here in Nevada is not a livable wage. They have to be making uh, $15 an hour and that's what we want to continue fighting for. Do you think tinkering with subsidies is a good way to go on child care? Uh, the, the, the what now? On child care, do you think that more subsidies are in order for low-income workers? Absolutely. Um, yeah, they, they, it's long overdue. Again, these workers, um, they work tirelessly uh, to take care of our children. Uh, the least we can do is at least uh, uh, pay them what they deserve to be making. Okay. Uh, unions have taken a beating in the last several decades, as you know, and now there seems to be an effort to change the image of unions as not looking out just for their own membership, but looking out for working families on the whole. Do you think that's uh, a good approach? Do you think that's going to make any difference? Look, uh, this past legislative session in 2015, uh, we saw a full uh, assault uh, in middle class families and against unions. Um, you know, they were trying to get rid of collective bargaining, they were trying to get rid, rid of uh, equal pay, uh, I'm sorry, for um, uh, overtime pay, uh, and they were trying to get rid of uh, prevailing wage. Mm -hmm. um, these are rights, you know, that we fought for, uh, the labor movement fought for for many years. Uh, and so um, I think who we elect in office matters, uh, and I believe that the work that SCIU and many other unions are doing in protecting these rights uh, and making sure that people have not only good good benefits, but also good pay and protections at work uh, is important. And so uh, now more than ever, we need to elect uh, uh, people who are willing to stand up and fight uh, and protect our, our union brothers and sisters. All right, Ruben Kuhn, appreciate it. Thank you so much.